Right, so just as last week, we're finding the best opportunity to do these videos is when we're moving and grooving. Bruce is up with mum and dad's at the minute. They've stolen him again. They absolutely love having him. So it's just me and Flo Dog today. Um, we've got to be a bit of a tight gap. Right, just give you a bit of an update where things are at. So this past week, obviously another week coaching, helping all my guys and a few girls work towards the goals. Got a couple couple lads that have got photo shoot this next Saturday. Got one lad, Sean. Well, I say lad, he's 36 years older than me, although he's like Benjamin Button. Joke that he's, uh, he looks like he's 20. But he's actually in his mid thirties. Um, yeah, we had Sean's the photo shoot on Wednesday just been, and he looked great. I mean, he wasn't absolutely peeled, but that was never necessarily the goal with Sean for this shoot. It was sort of we decided only, I think less than eight weeks before the shoot we we're going to do it, and uh, this year he's he's gone from being over 100 kilos, closer to 16 and a half stone, very overweight, to 80 kilos, and in good shape. I think, you know, 90% of the population, male population would say, you know what, that's a good physique to have. That's what I'd like to look like. So yeah, he's done massive, he's done really good, massive achievement from him. So that was this Wednesday morning. So went over to Leeds, Ultraflex there, the lighting's good there cool gym to basically do the shoots that's what we did um, and yeah all my other guys are just working hard and it's absolutely class two lads that are doing the shoot this next Saturday is Sam Jebson who because he's absolutely fucking nuts he's done a triathlon this weekend and two weekends ago he's actually only started training for hypertrophy like specifically gaining muscle this year as well and you know, before that we did some powerlifting training blocks last year. And to say that's how long he's been doing it, he's actually put on some uh, decent muscle, especially in his chest. I actually have a side-by-side, -side, I'll put it up, of uh, Jebber. These are both morning check-ins. If you see how much muscle gain he's had in his chest since last October to this October, well, this September, less than 12 months. It's been fucking nuts considering only eight months of that has been specifically on building muscle um, and a large chunk of that as well especially in the latter end has been spent in a calorie deficit so less than ideal scenario to build muscle and uh, just look at what he's done so a lot of that's down to how hard he actually does training in the gym I must admit you don't have to tell that man twice to send it so high hopes for him in the future I know he's got um, some more endurance based goals which does contradict the muscle gain and stuff a bit. Um, but he's still young, so I have no doubt he's a, he can't do both. He can definitely do both. He can definitely get, you know, fitter and beat his triathlon times and get muscle at this stage of his life and at this stage in his training journey. So excited to see what he does there. Um, also, we've got Liam Pierce, who went from being completely untrained at the beginning of this year I can't remember the exact month, I'll bang it on the screen. Um, and, you know, he's had a couple of holidays and what have you. And we decided, you know what, it's time for him to do a shoot as well. So, the reasons for the shoots, I think some people get a bit confused by the photo shoot stuff. Um, why don't you just do like normal transformation pictures? Well, the main reason is just added accountability, added pressure. You know what they say, pressure makes diamonds. So, uh, yeah, what I found is whenever I put a shoot in for anyone, all of a sudden adherence goes through the roof. They stick to things better and they just get better results. Uh, and the professional photos just look 10 times better. So it's cool for them to have. It's cool for me to have as well. Uh, and it's just um, another thing to show people what like normal blokes are capable of with their own physique development. Right, with my own... Oh, we've also got the client meet up next next Saturday. So every now and again, well, like once every quarter, once every three months or so, I'll get, I'll invite all my clients 
to a meet up uh, a number will come and what we'll do is we'll get some training in you know we might start the day with some of the lads that are doing a shoot you know if it's if it times then we'll get some training in do a bit of an educational piece run over some common exercises that people struggle with any common topics people struggle with and then we just go get some food so We'll be doing that this this Saturday coming, so less than six well six days from now. So I'm excited for that. Okay, with my own journey, fucking bit of a crazy one. So sorry for swearing, Florence. It's something I do need to knock on the head. That it's like I've got Tourette's. Um, but yeah, on my own journey, believe it or not, I've got a new coach. <laughs> so basically, well, I'll just go through it. I'm not going to do like no fucking weird dragging it out so i was with christian chapman for quite a few months this year i wanted to learn some bits from him he's ahead of me in the coaching side of things in terms of the business side of things and he's had a lot of experience he's had quite a decent ex amount of experience coaching people that compete on stage and you know doing off seasons and pre-contest phases with them and although i don't have aspirations right now of competing it's essentially the same journey essentially the same thing you know my goal is continue physique development continue betterment of my physique progression in muscle each year pro progression in condition each year when i do my shoots um and that's what i'm going with at the minute so yeah it was really valuable having him on but time for a change i've been with him for about five months to 20 weeks and now we're going to be with none other than our tom so my brother, Tom Summers, he's going to be taking control of my coaching now. Reason being, the way Tom does things really aligns and makes sense with how I like doing things. Uh, and he still does things a lot different to how I do things as well. So it's not just like I'm getting coached by myself. <laughs> so he also, you know, he, he likes doing things how I do things. He holds people to a very high standard. Like he holds himself to a high standard and... Like that's something that I fucking that's something that I rate massively and I buy into massively like if you're going to be coaching people um, like our Tom does and like I do to me it makes sense to be leading from the front and giving yourself high standards and Tom does that and he's got big aspirations for his own physique and his own journey as well which probably covering a future YouTube video as well probably have Tom on um, but yeah there's some reasons why we got him involved. Also, Tom's been studying this shit for years. <laughs> uh, I remember being 11 years old. I'm 29 now. I remember being about 11 years old. And my brother had an MP4 player. And I seen this video on his phone of this massive black dude busting out these 200 pound dumbbells with these like weird fucking massive multicolored pants on. And it was Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> So, that would be like 2005 when he was like Mr. Olympia. So, that's how long Tom's been. And they've probably been, you know, reading and watching shit before then as well. So, I know that Tom's been heavily invested in the pureness of physique development um, for a lot longer than fucking 95% of the people you see on Instagram. So, that's another good reason to have him on board. And then, also, is my brother which, I don't know, can be a good thing, can be a bad thing at times. Uh, as in, we won't fall out, but obviously we can give each other some shit. He can get on my tits, or he has done in the past, but that's you know, that's normal with family and brothers and shit. Um, but yeah, where am I going with this? Another reason why I'm on board is he's just around the corner. I can train with Tom on a weekly basis if I want to. So there's nothing like hands-on, hands-on... Um, coaching been able to see him if I need to um, and you know it's uh, yeah I think it'll be something special as well working with working with uh, my brother as well so yeah I'm excited for that and they're the reasons why I'm now getting coached by our Tom instead so he's actually plans for now and I'll wrap this up at the 10 minute mark plans for now even though I've been in a long gaining phase me and Tom both agree kind of gained a bit too much too soon especially as a natural and we're going to pull back a little bit to push forwards so stay tuned for that and i'll see you next time see ya <laughs>